that I'm live. Um, I'm not going to read the chat, so hopefully the audio will be fine for this. Um, okay. So, have you accepted the invite yet, or it looks like we're just waiting um, on you? I don't believe I see the invites. Um, Logos should be sending the invite, or he invited me, so... Uh, I don't even know how to, how this works anymore, but, um, all right, I DM'd you a link. Oh, awesome, thank Does that link work or uh, uh give me one second? I The link doesn't work. Um, let's see I if we can get. Getting... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just bringing me to the um, not, uh, main page for Terra. I'm not seeing like a. Uh, yeah, they they changed up how this thing works now, um, like the appearance of this at least. So let me see if I can message Logos and ask him to send you the invite. join the game anytime soon? Yeah, I'm having trouble finding the room. I tried to on a link uh, link that me, but uh, it's not bringing me to the actual room. Yeah, I'm just seeing the main page. Oh, yeah, it's some bullcrap. Uh, type out your name real quick. Oh, that's um, like, oh, cop, oh I, I got it. I, 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 hold on. There we go. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to get it. Good luck. Good luck. Um, okay. Can you maybe just refresh or, uh, I'm good. Um, okay. Awesome. All right. So we got our two on two game going. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was actually on your stream the other day. Uh, you were playing cultists. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have played before. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I meant that uh, I was in your chat. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm done, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh... it's base landscapes, it looks like. Um, looks like Bizzle has already chosen a faction. He chose Engineers. This track... Bizzle chose Engineers? I, I thought he was a Giants fan. That, that doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> well, let's not choose Giants then. Um, we got two Water Rewards, two Earth Rewards. I mean, I feel like Darklings are in, like, every single one of these games, but also... They also seem really useful and good here. 
Yeah. Um, Darklings look fine. Round six, big building is fine. Uh, round four, big is good to Darklings. Um, I'm, I'm okay with anything. Um, okay. I'll also say that, like, I'm just, like, not really bothered by, like, the choices right here right now. Like, we'll figure it out during the auction. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, round four spades is also good for Darklings now that I'm, like, actually looking at it, so. Is there any faction you uh, don't want in the game? Alchemists, but fortunately I took care of that. Um, I mean, I ideally don't particularly want green, but I actually think that green is kind of interesting here because because it's a 2v2, like, gray and green might not fight as much as you think. Yeah, I, I don't think gray and green would be great teammates, though, but... Uh... No, I, I don't think that they would be, but, like, I don't know if, if it was the specific uh, cultist game that you're watching. Like, gray and green, if they stay out of each other's way, then they can still prosper. They don't necessarily, like you know, perform as well, but... Oh, I was just watching the one where Patrick, you were playing against Patrick, yeah, all right. No, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, Patrick started C3, I think, instead of E9, and then Gray and Green <laughs> both did well that game. And I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made it work. That was interesting. Sorry, I'm taking a long time. Um, I don't know what to throw in, but I don't want to use up too much of my clock, so... Um... I mean, yellow looks fine. Either yellow faction, I think, is probably fine. And results in like an okay wheel as long as they don't pick brown. And if they pick brown, then we'll just find out some way to murder them. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of carpet men. All right. Because uh, in the in the arena mode, the cures is extremely strong uh, this season because of the high nice scoring. But uh, oh yeah, sometimes normal. you get cluster. <laughs> I guess clusters, distance, and edge are all pretty good for fakirs. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, I I've. Yeah. Um, I, I think he won. A, it was either him or someone else where they won a game with no towns. <laughs> or oh, that's crazy. Did he have a stronghold or? Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, man. Um, okay. Um, so they they've clearly already decided on what pairing they think is strongest. I think Darklings and Engineers is going to be very good. I don't think that you can really go wrong with that. I think Swarmlings and Fakirs are okay because I mean they're going to be great leech partners in the West. Um, but blue and yellow is always great in two v two. Yeah, but it's not mermaids, so like you can't spread out as much. I think. Um. Yeah. I feel like. I, yeah, go ahead. I. Uh oh, I was just saying. Um, I think position four swarmlings with the big golden towel and, and round one TP is like a ton of points. So I think Bizzle's bid is correct right now. Probably gonna bid down swarmlings. Okay. For, for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, round one digging is, is strong for swarmlings too. Um, if they want to go for some kind of uh, earth to uh, digging swarmlings, uh, Zoris has a nice guide on that. Um, so. I see. Um, so I feel like Darklings with this track is just like can't really be wrong. Am I crazy for saying that or like? I yeah I, absolutely. Um, I, I I think I think you're not wrong. Um, we're not, even like a Water 2 Darklings, I, I, don't, I don't even know. But. Yeah, no, I, I'm looking at Water 2 Darklings, and it makes a lot of sense, because Round 2 is a dwelling round, so getting a spade going into that round is really good, right? And then Round 3 is towns, so, like, if you manage to get yourself a town um, in Round 3 with, like, a temple and TP three dwellings, right, in the east... Um, sorry, uh, with which faction? Darklings, sorry. So I'm looking at Darklings, and it's like, if we get that Water Spade in Round 1... Um, that's good because it's, you know, round two is a dwelling round. You can build three dwellings and then maybe just make temple or do whatever in round three, like temple fire two or something for, I, I don't know. That, that might be right, too, right. too much investment um, into a round three town, but. Um, no, I, I agree with that plan. Um, my, my concern right now is, and it could be over, but uh, if I bid down Swarmlings one point, what, what are the odds though to just grab yellow and gray right now? Probably not high, right? Yellow and gray, I would think, is probably the worst pairing. But okay. I also, ooh, I was going to say, I'm scared to, like, give them that option. Okay, Logos bit on Swarmlings. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, so I don't think they are a fan of Yellow and Grey. I think they like the Swarmlings. It, maybe even the thinking Swarmlings, the more I look at this. Because the Round 3 town is great for the Swarmlings. You get two towns up and uh, six workers, maybe even a worker town. That's true. Yeah. Who helps Swarmlings the most in that case? But, so the last round of uh, TBTF with Patrick, uh, we did manage to squeeze out the win with Swarmlings and for Kyrus, actually. I see. I uh, advanced it twice, and I just dug for Patrick, and he was able to still find hexes uh, despite the other team. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it one more point and see. see what I don't think you're, like, I think you're right. They don't want yellow and gray. Yeah, I think that's the worst team. I think, I mean, I think black and gray is also a very strong team. So, like, blue and yellow, black and gray, like, those should be two strong teams together, if I'm not wrong. Blue and yellow and uh, black and gray, you said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, they're bringing it down to 30 now. Longest road goes to any of yours, probably, right? Like, I don't... Unless they get, like, So if you like give them... I mean, how? what's black and yellow like here? Is that actually good? Or is that not good? <laughs> I... If it's Darklings and Fakirs, that would mean blue and gray. So maybe it can be an all-west Darklings and Fakirs plays on an F3 or something like that. I think Darklings leaving Swarmlings the entire east is too good, um, because that's a very easy mega town for them, right? Oh yeah, with the landscape, yeah, okay. Um, like C one Darklings doesn't look quite as good in this matchup because of D two Swarmlings, and then, you know, Swarmlings might take E two away. Like, so say that Blue and Yellow are not on the same team. Clearly, Swarmlings are an advantage because they can take away D2 before Fakirs can, right? D2? Or oh, sorry, E2. E2. Oh, 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 for the uh, pass out for the Mega Town? They don't even need it for a Mega Town. They just kill Fakirs single town. If they, Well, okay, sorry. Fakirs uh, might get a center town then. They might get E6, yeah, G2. Fakirs can have a, a decent game with just one town, I find. No, I, I'm just wondering where is that town going to be? Like, if oh, they if they don't get like they they prefer it from D3 to E2, right? That's like the best Fakir's town that you can get. But if Swarmlings yeah. are against you, then they might, you know, they could they could even do like a Water Two Swarmlings and turn E2 to black or something. Um, so what I'm thinking right now is if I take engineers, how is that a decent pairing, black and gray? I mean, black and gray is, like, naturally always good with each other, right? Like, black and gray has never been bad with each other. However, yellow and blue, the question is, like, is that actually better than yellow and blue? I'm thinking that if I'm Darklings, I actually, and it's Darklings and Swarmlings, uh, sorry, Darklings and Engineers, I think that there's a good chance that I want to dig E6, right, with my first action. Um... Actually, Fakirs probably can't do that. No, you take H7 with your first action, or F7 or whatever, to, like, bother Swarmlings, so that they don't... Oh, wait, Swarmlings need a double... They don't have instant access to double dig if they start with a big building, right? Um, I don't believe so, unless one of us gives them power. Um, yeah. Actually, what if you... So, we know that Engineers and Fakirs are not the best team. What if you bid me off of Darklings, and then we just see, like, what they're... Force them to show their hand, basically. I so because there's no uh, shovel bonus tile in this game, I'm actually not as big of a fan of, uh, of the gears as I normally would. Um, I see. I think I think if I take engineers, I don't think they'll take the gears, and if they do, I think I'm okay with that. Because all right, I, I trust I, you. Yeah, I trust you. Okay. <laughs> High praise coming. No, I mean, like, I, I know nothing about this, so, yeah. Yeah, um, okay, Logos agrees with me. <laughs> um, okay, I will... I'll, I'll, I'll put it down a bit. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think Darkness for Cures is amazing together, right? Like. Yeah, I mean, like, basically, I would start C1 in such a case and then hope that the Cures you know, managed to get E2 and C3, but that's, 
like you can't guarantee that, right? That's the that's the issue. Oh wow, they they put a lot of points on these. Wait, hold on. Are we sure that Engineer Starklings is as good as Fakir Swarmlings? Do you want me to spit on Swarmlings again? <laughs> no, I, I'm just I'm thinking about this. I, okay, Darklings Swarmlings has to be better than Engineers Fakirs, right? Do we agree on that? Um, Engineers Fakirs well, are likely to come in one and two in network, so we should keep that in mind. Yeah, but I think the round four digging, if uh, if it goes to Swarmlings and Darklings team, it's pretty. Oh small yeah. Well. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't I don't mind taking a point off Swarmlings then. I'm just not sure what the starting position would be if we end up with Darklings and Swarmlings. I guess G five and uh, G five G five. I actually think that. If it comes to that, yeah, okay, E5 is a must, right? Because then you grab E6 first, and then you secure a town there. You don't, like, Swarmlings are a little less dependent on Leech than other factions are. Engineers have the double dig, right? Engineers have the double dig this game. Um, So that means that Darklings should be able to... Oh, wait, hold on. Black and gray is quite good. Double East East Black has just always historically been really strong for, uh, for... Gray, right? And in this game, there's a priest pass tile in the game. I think that with engineer, like, if we have black and gray, engineers should control the double dig, right? That means that we should be able to, black should be able to grab the two workers and then take H7 and F7 both in round one. Sorry, I was uh, a bit distracted with the video. Okay, so, so here's my thought. If we're black and gray, then engineers control the double dig, right? Yeah. So that means that G6 Swarmlings can't take away either of those brown hexes in round one. Yep, makes sense. So if you're black and gray, then you can't really do G6 Swarmlings. Because Darklings can just... Well, they they might just start worker power or something, and then just take both of those brown hexes in round one. Oh, I see. I, I think Swarmlings would be... Like, they would take the big building card for sure. Yeah. Not, yeah, that's too, that's too good. Not right, which basically gives Darklings the ability to grab those two hexes. I mean, engineers can always just deny the double dig with their first action anyway, right? So, like... Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay, it's good to see Logan's a bit smart. <laughs> Maybe they're thinking about the cues, but I'm okay giving them the cues in this, in this uh, state. Yeah, I mean... I, yeah, actually, I think that Swarmlings... I mean, I think that Darklings Engineers is probably as good as Fakir Swarmlings. Because um, we we would both have inherent score, and we would both have one of the two network factions. The thing is that Swarmlings would have cults. That is true. They, they would have cults. Um, but the track, uh, the scoring track, does not look good for Fakirs, in my opinion. Really oh, that's true. Count. That's true. Yeah, Fakirs are... Uh, well, so here's my thing. Can Fakirs actually get that round three town if they're partners with Swarmlings? Um, so I, I think the Swarmling partnership is only useful for the Leech. The digging doesn't really come in until, I'd say, round four or five. No, sorry, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, Fakirs, like, so let's say Fakirs take Air 2, right? Or they don't even need Air 2. Let's say they just take, like, Earth 2 or something, or Earth 1. And then they, or like, you know, yeah, Air 2 or like Earth 2 or something. Then they open round, they have a really fast round one. They take all the leech from Swarmlings and then they temple on D3 and then begin round two with double dig E2, E3. Can they possibly get enough workers to make that town in round three happen? I'm really sorry. I was (laughs) doing the bidding again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just wondering if Fakir, like if Swarmlings are actually capable of giving Fakirs enough leech that they can make that town with three hexes in round three. But probably not, right? Sanctuary two, dwe- two TPs is like an insane number of workers. That's eight workers. Yeah, I, at, I, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, and I think Swarmling needs stakes for their own town if they want to go for a round four digging plan. So um, I think Fakir's biggest issue in this setup is just lack of spades. Uh, Engineers is going to take the double spade round one, and round two might even go to the Swarmlings or 
No, I mean, Fakir should always be able to pass fastest, right? They're going to have the fastest round. Um, Unless they want a double tumble, but I don't know how, how good that is here. I don't think that's any good here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really <laughs> yeah. see it being oh. very good here. I, I am interested in the fact that neither Fizzle or Logos uh, bid on Darklings. It's almost like they, they don't believe it. They don't like Darklings. Oh, wait. We could have Darklings Fakirs here? So, okay, yeah, so... Like, if we do that, if we do that, probably what happens is that they play network swarmlings. But even network swarmlings shouldn't be able to beat Fakirs on network, right? So let's say that they get plus twelve in terms of network points, if it's if it's uh, engineers swarmlings, right? They might have plus twelve in network, like they have ten and eighteen and six for engineers and swarmlings, and then twelve for Fakirs. And zero, so that that'll be plus twelve in network. They're probably plus. Oh, okay. They're probably plus like thirty in cults if that happens. So one thing I want to point out right now is, uh, if I take the cures right now, we start with a thirty-one point lead. No, that's what I'm trying to figure out, right? I'm trying to figure out like what our lead, how our lead translates, basically, because they're gonna crush the end game scoring if it's this factions, right? Um, yeah. They're probably plus fifty-ish in the end game. But is 50, can, can we, like, but we're already plus 30 on them. So we only need to outscore them by 30 during the main game? I mean, we're, we have inherent scoring here. That is true. Yeah, I'm also thinking, it, it's getting close. It's getting into the territory. We have inherent scoring on a crappy scoring track. Uh, I mean, round five, round five TPs is good for engineers. That's, like, where they're going to hit it hard. But, like, we have inherent scoring on a crappy track. Doesn't that mean that we can just, you know, like... <laughs> And, and Darkling still has the round for a game. So I guess if you can help me come up with an idea of starting positions for Fakirs and Darklings, I'll take Fakirs right now. Okay, my proposal is E5, G5 for Darklings and Fakirs, and then Fakirs start F3, G4. And then you try to connect on E8. Um, and if you don't, it's, you know, it's a 12-point swing. That kind of sucks, but... Uh, I'm worried if I don't get D3 uh, quick enough. If you don't get to D3 quick enough. Who's taking away D3? That, that, that's a good point. Um, and if you don't, then like by the time that you, you need a range town to get there, right? If Swarmlings are never taking away D3 and E3, E3 also hits both of those yellow hexes in the west, right? Um, I guess it doesn't get you A5, but... Yeah, I, I think I do need D3, E3 eventually um, because of the A5, B1, and H1 uh, jumps. If I start F3, are you saying uh, I'm going to get E6? You're, you're going to give me E6? Or... Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out because you do need one town. But if I'm starting E5 and I give you E6, then I, pro then I probably don't get a town, right? At least not in the center, right? Yeah, that's awkward. That is awkward. Hmm. Unless I give you D3, and then you can make a town E5 connecting to C1. Well, I mean, Swarmlings are going to take away C1, but... Oh, oh but, I see. But that can still be a 3-hex town, right? Could we start C1 D3, or would that be two? We could do that. I mean, that... Yeah, we could do that. I, I mean, my thing is that how are you getting E2? Like, where's your town going to be? Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Swirling's place first. Why don't we just take these factions? I, I kind of like the scoring here. Um, like, our issue is endgame points, but maybe we outscore them during the game. And then we just figure it out from there. Yeah, so, like, right now we're sitting at 31 points, so it's so tempting. <laughs> yeah. Also, with Water 2 Darklings, we should be able to at least get some points. Like, Darklings should be able to beat Engineers on some of these cults. So it's not going to be a total like walkover like with that. Okay. All right. So I did say that I wanted to place one in the east, um, so that swarmlings don't get everything. Um, Do you like E10 yeah, or G5? I, I, 
Sorry, could you say that again? Do you like E10 or G5? E10 or G5. So one option, if you go E10, is maybe we can do e, uh, E10, C1, and try to connect our friends through the top door. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. Uh, E10 is good no, for connection. Uh, nomads are the yellow factions on our team, so no one's going to block your B4. Um, so the one problem I see with that is that G5 is much better for for denying engineers leech and for, for getting leech from swarmlings. Um, no, sorry. I mean, like, yeah, it's better for denying engineers leech. Uh, do you mean denying swarmlings from taking that hex? No. What, so what I'm saying is, like, if I'm on G, if I'm on E10, then every time I upgrade E10, um, engineers are getting leech. However, if I'm on G5, then I can dig H7, and then I only give leech to Swarmlings. Oh, I see what you're saying. And, like, you can still connect. You need three ship, though, which is annoying, but... Yeah, I think Darkness connect this game, right? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Darkness should connect. Okay, I, I'm going to place G5. Um, or, sorry, what, what's, what do you think is better? I'll, I'll just defer to you here. Um, yeah, they both have their arguments going for it for them for sure um i'm i'm thinking uh as figures i probably want eight uh for myself would that hinder your connection you want which hex uh, e8 no that's not a problem i can connect through like b5 or something oh i see uh so yeah. you take f5 three sailing and connect through the north Angle yeah it's, it's a lot of shipping but i think it's okay um Okay, if that's the case, I, I like to five. Denying engineers the leech makes sense. And you're saying I should start G4 and F3? Or are we going the D3 route? Let's, let's start with D3 and see how Swarmlings respond. Because if Swarmlings don't place D2, then I'm going C1, and then we're going to be best of friends there. Okay, and if I, if I place D3 right now and they go on D2, where should I place my second uh, dwelling? Let's figure out where their other dwelling goes, and then we'll make a call there. G4 yeah, could I, work. I, I, think, I think D3 is safe. Yeah, I think D3 is safe as well. And, I mean, like, the regular Fakir starting spots are D3, F3. So, okay, so we, we oh, scared Swervings away okay. from the east. I do like that. I think this means that... Hmm... This is very interesting. Like, I, I'm not surprised by D5, actually. I, I only just recently started thinking that they might do that. I personally don't like D5 swallowings, uh just because no, of the bridge. No, yeah. I don't like them in normal games, but I think here they're much, much better. Oh, yeah. The power to engineers makes sense. Yeah. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. My My few brain cells are rubbing together right now, but... What if I start B3? <laughs> you could start E8. You could just leech off of them and, like, not give them any leech. But then you can't give me any leech either. But I can just start C1, but that gets very little oh. leech as well. Oh, no, no, we give each other leech on C1. So if you start E8, you should never lose F3, right? I assume so. That would be crazy if I could use double space stuff. Um, yeah, okay. Or should I start F3 just to play text? Um, if you start F3, then you just get a town, right? Yeah, if you start F3, then you get a town. I think that seems pretty good. Or do you want G4 for some, some leech fun? Why don't we try F3, E5? Do you, are you cool with that? Yeah, yeah. I okay. think that Let's makes... do it. You're gonna go on E5, I'm guessing, or are you gonna... yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go E5. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Then I don't get a town, huh? Maybe C1 makes sense for you. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just do C1 F3? Just just normal starting spots. Sorry, this took like a long time, but I think that the normal starting spots are probably just right here. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to spend too much of uh, the clock. Oh man. What? Yes. Let's go. Engineers are going to open that, temp ship. Is that good for you? Like, are you worried about having no uh, neighbors on the 
No, this is not good for me, but maybe you can, hold on. Engineers are in first seat. Okay, we should be able to get you enough leech that if they don't take both spade actions, then you should be able to get yourself a spade here, right? Um, and if you don't, then you should be able to get a double spade in round two. So I guess I'm taking the worker power, or do you want that? I think that you should take the priest. Oh, you want the worker power? Okay. No, I think I want temp ship. <laughs> oh, you want temp ship? Um, well... I'm thinking, so So here's my thing, right? I think that engineers on G1 can only mean one thing. And that, like, engineers on G1 means that they're going to open, they want to take E3, G2 with their first action. That's why they placed there. So me taking temp ship blocks them really hard. Taking the priest away also blocks them really hard. So I think that that's the play. Why would the well, it stops them from advancing ship with their first action. Oh, and then... Oh, I see. I mean, they get worker power, which is sick, but at least they're not, like, you know, crushing us. I think I can take the worker power, and it'll take them one temple to advance ship. And I think by the second turn, I think I can secure at least a single space to secure my... Uh, either that three or two. Your call. Um, yeah, your call which one you want. We're not getting both of those Fakir's towns, like, yeah, under, like, yeah, almost yeah. any circumstances, so. But yeah, I... And, uh, okay. Give him the priest. I think you are right, though. I, I think you uh, guessed their plan pretty accurately. Yeah, yeah. Sacrifice not starting on F6 for engineers. It's... I... I don't think it's good. I, <laughs> I am surprised, but I'm not like. Yeah. That, so. That weird by it. I think that it's probably more important to get the E3 and E2 town here. That's my gut feeling. <laughs> well, which town do you think is better? Double space E2 before me. You think that that's likely what happens? I, I don't know, but I have heard rumors that Fizzle likes to spike big. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I think taking away E2 is very good here. Okay, so E6 can't possibly be disturbed this round, right? Right, right. In that case, securing G2 seems very good. Securing G2. Uh, yes, yeah. So because I have the uh, worker power card, uh, I can almost certainly take a single spade uh, first action if I want. Right, and if you don't, that means that engineers took it. And if engineers took it, then they then you know they can't get G two. Yeah. So yeah. you're just getting it round two then. Um, oh, yeah, we're making yeah, exactly. we're making Logos think. No, I love it. I love it. We're making Logos think. <laughs> yeah. No, the temp should play. I think you're dead dead on. Like I don't think you expected you to take that. Well, I mean, G one just yeah. shows your hand so hard. So it's like. Yeah, yeah. Like I was, I was definitely surprised. But I like engineers is just not getting to F six this game, right? Like maybe actually after they take G three, they can triple sail E nine. But it's, uh, it's it's so delayed. Oh, to get to the east. Well, honestly, I think that a, I think that engineers double digging E eight at some point is pretty likely. <laughs> but if you get E six, then you should hopefully you can fly there before they're able to. Okay, they did take the priest. Um, I'm going to upgrade C1. That does give Swarmlings the double dig, but Swarmlings are getting the double dig anyway. Yeah. Um, I say we just give each other yeah. reach here, right? Um, before Swarmlings can get that hex upgraded. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So should I take the single spade right now? Yeah, I, I like taking the single spade now. The other option is to upgrade, but then you I'm could. So we could... Go, 
Well, okay. So, so if if you lose both, I, I'd say upgrade. I would say upgrade here uh, because here's the thing, right? If they take both spade actions, then you still get G two. You just have to pass fast, right? So I, I guess I'm only worried is um, he upgrades sailing and then spade. Oh, but if he if he upgrades sailing next turn, I take the spade, right? So. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> One more thought. What if what happens is, no, because then you might get double dig. I was thinking like, what if Swarmlings deny the single dig, then Engineers advance ship, but then you should get double dig because I will just upgrade C1 again. So yeah, you can upgrade safely here. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. Are you planning on water two Darkling? I'm I'm heavily considering it, yeah. Um, the other option that I have is just to send my priest to water, um, but I think I kind of like. I kind of like water. Um, I am debating that actually. I'm not sure if that's good this round. Well, okay, it, it probably it probably has to be right, right? Because Bizzle is a uh, yeah. I think Bizzle might try to open Stronghold Sanctuary with Water too. Oh, yeah, I haven't considered that actually. We're giving him so much power. Um, maybe you should take the workers, <laughs> unless Bizzle takes it now. Um, then I could just I take the coins. Right. If if they take the workers, then I can oh. take the coins. Also, if they take the workers, then we probably get double dig. So I'm not sure that they want to do that. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait. Do we get double dig? No, they're... Right, they can't upgrade shipping and still speed G2, I believe. Okay, he is going for the uh, double dig. Double I'm guaranteed double speed, it looks like. You're guaranteed... Oh! Whoa. Okay. That's... No, Logos is getting the double dig. Um... Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. Logos is getting double dig, but you are getting single dig. I am just going to upgrade here, and you probably have to... Sing... Oh, wait, no. You don't have to take double dig if you don't want to. You can try to double dig next round instead if you want. Um... But I do think I like water too here. Like Logos just blew a priest on the water track, but but he has to right. Like that's pretty awkward for Logos actually. Yeah, I don't know. If I... Like he has to open water two and buy the priest to make that pay off. So that's not going to be good for him. Um, I think I'm safe to upgrade here and take water two, and then. There. I'm not so concerned about my coins anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think that's a, that's good. Uh, prevents Bizzle from taking it. And, uh, yeah. I'm assuming Engineers wants to double spade, right? So I don't think I need to rush the single spade. I think you 100% don't need to rush the single spade anymore because I can. if you take air 2, then you'll get one power, and then the next time up, I upgrade, you get double dig. I, I mean, like... Basically, one spade action is going to be left over, no matter what. So, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to temple that. I accept your gift. Yeah, so Bizzle has to upgrade here. Um, engineers have to take the single, have to take the double dig. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you get it. Engineers could open water one. <laughs> well, where would their uh, oh, and then build? Then they only need to build one. Then next round they build a temple. Like they only need to build one dwelling, right? They only need to build F four this round. So then, then they can put a. 
next round they, they leave d4 gray and then next round they temple for earth 2 or earth 1 and then build d4 but i mean that's that's their problem they're they're gonna double spade here i don't think that's what they particularly wanted to do but that is what they're going to do i think that logos right now is afraid that you're going to do something like he i think logos might be considering whether he can float f4 like if he can just build d4 and float f4 he's trying oh, to figure like out there? yeah oh, okay. like is he even going to build like it this way like is he going to build it this round yeah this might be an earth one. like this might indicate earth one well I, I mean it doesn't matter i'm gonna give you some leech right now um Because I don't think G2 is getting, going away any, anytime soon. Or I could wait till next round and take the double spin. You don't think that G2 is going around, going away anytime soon? I think that's a little arrogant. I think that's... Well, it's because he spent all his power on the double spade right now, right? So, oh, the cult spade. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I think... No, yeah, it's very dangerous to leave G2, I think. Um, in any case, I think my priest can go to the earth track, right? Um... I think Priest of Earth is probably fine here. Uh, so I can't get to step 8 on water, but I can get to step 4. I'll get a spade there. And then I'll have... So you're planning on just doing Temple and that's it for round 1? Um, yeah, I mean, I can build... Feels... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm, it just feels a little unfortunate to not use the, the uh, sailing temp. The temp ship to get onto, like, B2 or something? But, I mean, am I getting neighbors there? Like... I guess I can secure B3. I mean, yeah, like I don't have the workers right now anyway, right? Yeah, I don't know if you want to do the 3-4 one. But... Yeah, I mean, so what's your proposal? I think Water 2 looks right because of the cults. Um... Okay, I agree. But yeah, the question is, does my priest go to the Earth track? And I think the answer is yes. Because the Earth Track has great rewards. Um, like, everyone should want those Earth Track rewards, basically. I can even... Okay, what, what about this? What if yeah. I bridge? What if I put a bridge here? Bridge B2. Oh. Huh. I... So, this all has at least two more turns. I think this also has... Yeah, I mean, they're outlasting us big time this round. Um, I, I just want to make sure you hit the 7 coin pass card. Um, yeah, I mean, I well, I don't know that that's necessary strictly right now. <laughs> right, like, that's... Uh, oh, you'll, you'll need the coins. <laughs> With how far away you'll need the coins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will need the coins, but basically, like, I might not need the coins until round 4, at which point I'll have the coins. That's... I guess that's my thought. Because I'm not building... Like, I'm obviously not building the Sanctuary next round, right? Like, next round I'm building three dwellings, I think. Oh, so you're not going uh, Sanctuary round two? No. No, I'm not going Sanctuary round two. It's a dwelling round. I'm going to build dwellings. And I have a spade coming in off the cult. So I think I'm going to build three dwellings and then maybe Sanctuary round three. Sanctuary round three? Okay. Yeah. And I'll take Earth yeah, one if it's still there. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. So, I think if I don't take D2 right now, uh, uh, Logos is going to call it spade it, right? Yeah, I mean, I think... Uh... So I should single spade D2. Would that, would that make sense? What can Logos do here? Logos can't build a second... Log Logos can't really afford a second temple, but he can afford Water 1 or Water 2. So... I think I'm going to secure G2. I would say just secure G2. Like, what's the worst thing that happens out of that? You just miss out on double dig, right? Like, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What if you ignore G2 and just go for e E3? <laughs> well, hold on. If you just pass here, right, the single spade, Bizzle is never going to single spade E2 to, like, black, right? That's That just can't really happen. I mean, I guess it could, but oh. what if you just pass and then you just grab E2, E3 next round? Uh, 
I, the reason why I want you to is uh, I want I7 uh, for the next round before I jump. Okay. And I also probably get power play. Okay, I trust you. And okay, and I'm gonna do special landscape for the coins. Okay, sounds good. So that means that you're probably passing on to the dwelling pass tile, or do you want the seven coins? Um, hmm. I'm okay with either. I just okay. Wait. Actually, hold on. Um, maybe next round is a hard dig E6 and then fly to I7 for you? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Except that, except that engineers don't have to build F four. I'm almost certain engineers are not building F four. That's why I scrapped that thought. Oh yeah, I, I agree. Um, I'm just thinking. Oh, Some sorry. somewhere down the line, you might want that. Uh, right. So I'm going to use my water to bump. No one's taking the priest. So go up water. Logos, so note that Logos just built D4. So I think that they were trying to maximize the Swarmlings' leech. So Swarmlings Sorry, are going to open the same. Sorry? Sorry, I had to step away for a bit. Oh, okay. okay, so are you back or are you... Uh... Yeah, I'm back. Um, oh, okay. Could so, you repeat that last part again? Oh, yeah. So I think that they are going to try to open Sanctuary for Swarmlings. That's why Logos has been de delaying his leech. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, that makes sense. Um, so, I think that here, you're going to get double spade. You're going to get double spade next round, even though you single spaded here, which well, is I hilarious. Power, yeah, you're going to get leech, you're going to get all the leech from Bizzle, I think. Ah. But it's your call which pastel you want, like, that, that uh, doesn't change. I am tempted for the coins with that. No, because we can also try to coordinate so that when you pass, I get your coins. Okay. I'm going to take the coins back. Sounds um, good. I don't think there's anything else for me to do in this round. So yep, yeah. sounds good. There we go. Thank you, Bizzle. That's the stuff. I could even buy a priest right now. I don't think that's good, but I think I said I wanted the bridge, right? Yeah. Um, so you want to throw the priest onto Earth, right? I think I want priest to Earth, and I think I want bridge to B2. Um, I feel like those are oh. useful hexes to build. As opposed to like building in the west, uh, building in the east, like I just get a whole bunch of dwellings down, but they won't have neighbors. Over here in the west, um, C2 is going to eventually get built. Um, it might have to get built faster than some of this other stuff, like depending on, because Logos right now doesn't have power. So if he's building stuff, it might be via shipping as opposed to via spading. What do you think about the B2 line? Because like that also gets me a little closer to the town in round three. Um, are, are you saying uh, like building your town on B2? Yeah, yeah, B2, B3. I, I like it because uh, I'm assuming your sanctuary will eventually be on C1. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, the sanctuary will be on C1. So I think that this, this should be okay. So next round I can build A4, B2, B3, I think. Um, oh, wait, I don't, I don't have the workers to do all of those. Um, that's okay. If I if I get all the leech that I think that Bizzle's going to give me, if he goes water two here, then because like th that's that's clearly what this is. Like he just took like a mother load of leech to do this, so he's clearly going temple and then possibly sanctuary as well. Um, uh, he's sitting on twelve coins, fourteen coins. Yeah, he would burn all his power to get the temple building. 
Well, I mean, Water 2 got some one power back. But yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll be down to seven power tokens, but I think it's a very, very strong opening. It's definitely strong. I don't know how much it aligns with the round four thing, though. Um, so it's it's interesting. Because normally round four things will make you want the, the two towns, and I don't know how that's going to happen right now. But yeah. We'll All right, they are going this line. I think I'm just going to put the priest to... Or actually... Maybe I can just hold off on Priest to Earth until next round. Do we want a long round next round or a short round? We probably are both having a short round next round, I think. Right? Like. Uh, I know I want my second temple up. Probably. Maybe you jump if I have the resources? I'm not too sure. I'll see. Um... Okay, hold on. Logos is about to pass. Do I want his priest tile? What's he gonna take? He might well, just take the dwellings tile because he has. The thing is, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so I think Logos is taking worker power. If he passes. Yeah. Yeah. Then I get a priest, or I get the dwelling pass tile. I think that those are both fine. Um, or actually, I might yeah. even take the TP pass tile for the worker. Building an extra dwelling next round seems really good. Um. Yeah, but you're still gonna throw the priest on your. Right? Yeah. The question yeah. is, do I do it now or later? I think now is I, I, fine. I, I think you have to, otherwise Bizzle will beat you to it. No, I mean, Bizzle's not passing, though. We're, oh, no, oh, if you took I Water see. 1. Okay, Bizzle um, might pass. Okay, yeah, let's just do this. This doesn't yeah, hurt. Yeah. Okay, Bizzle passes. Yeah, so the plan is for around 3 Sanctuary right now. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one small thing that I messed up. So what I messed up was that I believe that I was supposed to pass here so that I can get onto Dwelling's Coins tile, and then I have Tempo to pass after you next round. I think that's what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to pass for the Dwelling thing. Oh, I see. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, that's it's not a big deal. It's I, not a big deal. I also fear that I might have gotten a little overly clever here, and because I think that Darklings maybe should have been helping out Fakirs here. Um, well, I mean, there's not much you could have done in terms of reach. Uh, because no, of no, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, starting E5 or something, you know, like, we're not close to each other, which is a bummer outside of this. So, yep, there's the water, too. You know what's really too bad is that I don't have a temp ship next round. Because that would have been sick. Because then if they try to put the cult spade on D1, then <laughs> they can't. But that's that's probably Oh, 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 oh I see. Um, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's Oh, there's a Temple Spade. You get the three coins then. Yeah, do I want that or do I want the worker, actually? I actually think I, I kind of want the worker, because then I can build three dwellings, as opposed to two. I'm having such a fast round, I could just take those three and then pass Sanctuary Big Building, right? Um, that's fair. If your plan is to go... Uh, yeah, I think this should be okay. This should be okay. I will get a coins action somewhere in here. So Logos's plan here is to temple for either Earth 2 or Earth 1, probably Earth 1, and then build F4. I'm almost certain that's his plan. Well, I mean, he, he could take Earth 2 here as well. I think Earth 2 might arguably be better than Earth 1 here for him. Um, 
Especially because Swirlings are in the game, so he can get Earth 1 later. Right, like, Bizzle is never going to yeah. block Logus from Earth 1. So he did get his Sanctuary out, but at least we made him work for it. He's trying to figure out where to put his bump. I think it's going to go on Earth, and he's going to send a Priest to Earth. I'm guessing that it's going to go first Priest to Air from Swarmlings next round. Um, I, yeah, I think that Swarmlings' action is going to involve first Priest to Air, even though like they can like it. We don't know like how fast or how long that'll be. Um, as long as uh, either you or me uh, pass before Bizzle. Like I don't like think that we can. Know. Actually, looking at it, he can probably just float his priest to air, right? Like that's probably what's actually going to happen. He's just going to he's just going to leave priest to air open because we're both using our priests for other stuff, and he might even skip his water two step. Um, just as a kid. <laughs> I mean, it's that important. Uh, I think it's that important for him. It's, it's certainly very important, but uh, I think at what cost? Yeah, if he does do that, then I probably get the Dwellings tile, which is just as good in terms of points. It'll also be four points for me, maybe five, so. Yeah, okay. So I can try to take a three-action round, and if Bizzle has already passed, then I'll take the coins. I think that's my plan. Oh, that was nifty. Well, it's fine. I can always... Yeah, the priest would be good for me anyway, so... Wait, what happened? He passed on to the dwelling scoring tile, which I didn't exactly oh. expect, but looking at the other options, I guess it was probably the right move. He doesn't want a long I, round, so he doesn't want priests. I honestly think he just did it for the coins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it's zero points, but it blocks... It, it, it also makes it less juicy for like us to pass on to, which is nice. All right, I think Bizzle is considering spading E2 here. That's fine. I, I don't expect Oh, no, it's D1. Okay. okay. So, okay, so which hexes do you want? I think that there's a very good case for E2, E3 here. Hmm. Also, giving Bizzle this leech is great because he doesn't want to use this leech. He wants a fast round. He wants out of this round anyway. So, like... Well, you know Well, my thing is that Swarmlings don't really want that much leech anyway. You know, like, oh. if they get a bunch of coins, who really cares, you know? <laughs> okay. Um... What do you think of my idea? Like, if you grab E2 here, right? like, this also avoids giving Engineers the leech on E6, which we don't want to do. So, basically, I would be building my second temple on... E2. Mm, gotcha. Okay. Like, the, the one good thing about E6, like, maybe you could spade E2, E6, and then that E6 will give you access to fly over to E8. Uh, it's it's your call what to do here, though. Like, it's, um, like, there's not a lot of teamwork going on this round, I think. So, so teamwork, I, I was thinking I could double spade jump to uh, C2, <laughs> but that might be too too. Well, the question is, so I, I actually really like that. The question is, does that, that helps me a lot. Does that help you? Uh, Ultimately. If five earlier, oh. And if you want to hit, do you want to hit the town next turn or no? I'm hitting the town next turn anyway. I'm just going to sanctuary and then, oh wait, I don't have a, I don't have a spot. I, I don't have the digs to do it. Um, I, I mean, I, I actually think that I'm going to make a town next round anyway. Without a neighbor? I could do it by spading A3 if I get onto the priest tile. I see. Oh, no, I'm getting a priest off the cult. Yes, yeah, so I have two priests, so I'm just going to spade A3 for my town. Okay, so you don't need a neighbor for your town. I don't need a neighbor for the town. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, I guess I would just use the spade. Yeah, I think I kind of like E2, E3, because putting the Sanctuary on C1 on D3 is also good for me. 
So I won't be hitting my town next round then, I guess. I mean, you weren't going to hit that anyway, right? Like, that was yeah, that was always... We all we always agreed that that was really hard. Okay. Uh, should I build uh, my building on a jump, I guess? So double dig E2, E2, and take the... Uh... Take E2, because Bizzle's going to build D1. Okay. Yeah, I, there's no way he's going to spike me. <laughs> no, and if he does, then, like, he just killed himself. So I, I don't... I, I love it if he takes E3, actually, because that means that he's killed himself. Right? Like, if he does that, then he's basically just, like, throwing away resources that he really can't afford to throw away right now. So tall. Yeah, I really didn't want to give Bizzle the leech, because he's still coin starved right now, but... Uh, Bizzle only needs to build a dwelling this round, though. I'm sorry? Bizzle doesn't even... Bizzle doesn't care, though, about coins, right? He has three coins. That's all he needs this round. He can only build... He only has two workers, so he's only building one dwelling anyway. And then, like, you're swarmling, so then you have, like, six power and two coins going into next round. Like, he'll be entirely fine in coins. True, true. And if he wastes the temple, to take a power option. Yeah, exactly. Then I get the big building tile, and he's even less happy. I would say... Um... It would be worth. It might even be worth it to sacrifice one dwelling just to take the big building from him. For me, um, yeah. I think that that hurts That's my different. chances of getting a town next round, though. It would give you because you're building the big building yourself as well, so it's like a decent point swing, and you get two workers from it. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay, Bizzle did take the coin's power action, but he was going to get that anyway when engineers built C3. So I think that that's okay. Um. I have two more actions. He has two more actions. I, I think I'm. I think I'm beating him to this. Uh, to this big building tile. I only have two more actions this round. I'm, I have B three and A four, but he needs D one and the upgrade. Should I? I'm guessing I should build my second temple right now and just not build the dwelling, right? That's your call. Um. That's your call. I'm not. Hold on. If you build E3 right now, right, mm -hmm. then you pass onto the big building tile. You can open next round with Sanctuary for Water 1 and then two TPs for your town. Oh, okay. I just, just screw Earth 1, basically. Yeah, Earth 1's for chumps. <laughs> am I, am I crazy? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Is Logos building F4? Logos is... Logos might pass before you. That's the only awkwardness. Oh, hold on. Maybe you can build E2. And then... Oh, upgrade E2. And then if Logos passes, then you just get E3. Well, if I upgrade E2, I, I feel like I would prefer the second temple. But... No, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my thought is you can upgrade E2. That leaves you flexible. Um, if the big building tile is still open at that point, then you can pass for it. I, I'm going to second temple because I think I'll get uh, more reach from... Okay, okay. That sounds good. Yeah, I like that. And Bizzle, Bizzle has auto leech on. Did you see that? He instant <laughs> accepted. I would never do that as Swarmlings. <laughs> I, I think it's a setting where like you can do auto leech up to a certain amount or something. No, no, you can, you can, but, like, I would never be taking three for twos, like, this fast as Swarmlings. Like, what is he doing with this leech? I guess he's, I guess maybe he's building a bridge and then trying to get C4 this round, but I don't like that from, from Bizzle. I mean, coins are always, you know, the, the good old saying among the high-ranked players is you can never have too much coins. I, I feel like I don't agree with that for Swarmlings, but... <laughs> I I also do not win a lot, so to be fair. Uh, don't, I, you're, you're, I think you're still hurting yourself. You're, like, pretty high rank, right? I, I have an okay ELO, but uh, I, I feel like I... But, but yeah, I don't, I don't actually think that you want as much leech with Swarmlings as you do with other factions. You just get less out of it, you know? I get leech. Yeah, so... 
Ugh, if you had one more worker right now, then I would say pass for the big building tile and then make your town next round. You see what I'm saying, right? You could just build E3 and then Sanctuary TP, but because you made that upgrade, you actually have one too few worker for that. But I guess you could get a worker's action next round and, and make that work. I don't know. It's... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to my temple. Okay, that's fine. Point. That's fine. Um, I think Earth one. You think water one or Earth one, right? I think it's got to be Earth one, yeah. Because you have you just have so much, so many dwellings left on your board, and who knows when you're gonna be building? You're not building TPs until round five, possibly. So, all right, so Logos finally gets his temp ship. Um. Yeah, the nice thing about building my temple this round is I do get the extra power from Fizzle. Yeah. The amount of power like both teams are giving to the other team <laughs> almost feels like. A, a yeah, goal. this one, this one, like yellow and blue have almost always wound up on the same team when they're in the same game, right? Exactly. So. It's like, it's, I'm actually on Fizzle's team. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think Fizzle's playing against Fizzle's on our team more than we're on his team because. I, Yo, he gave us so much power. <laughs> yeah, he's given us so much power, and honestly, I think that we're benefiting a lot more from this than he is. Like, I that's just my feeling. He might be skipping his action here. I think he might be skipping his Swarmlings action because he's desperate. <laughs> I, but that's three less points. Uh, actually, yeah, that's three less points. No, that's three less points. Yeah, I. Okay, so he what did hate Diggy, which is which is completely fine because you weren't making a town next round anyway. Like. <laughs> Bizzle just, yeah. No, I, I am actually so happy that he did this because, like, he's not, happen. he's still not getting that hex, right? Like, what's he going to do? Triple dig it next round, too? Like, he also dug it to red instead of brown, so he can't, he's no closer to building it. He dug it to oh, red. hold on, hold on. No, this is good. This is for engineers. I see. Oh, he wants to give it to uh, Logos. That's yeah, fine. okay. That's, that's cool. That's cool. So, I Logos mean, might be able to two town uh, next round then? I'm sorry? So Logos might be able to two-town next round. Uh, that seems a bit expensive. He only has two... Oh, he has three six. Uh, no, he, he's on temp ship, right? So, And he also has another town coming in. So he's going to open with like a TP, make a town, and then he just needs an eight-pointer, and then he'll have six power to come after uh, E3. So I'm going to pass and go on the big building, right? Yeah, you desperately need the workers. And you get my coins. Sounds good. Okay. I don't want to use up too much clock. Oh, I have a water two step. Might as well use it, right? Bizzle, if, yeah, if Bizzle skips yeah, I his, took, I've yeah. got a card already, so there's not, there's yeah. Not to do um, so I think I'm just going to go up the earth cult. Um, it's probably just good for us to like get as many coins in the game as possible. Should I secure the air cult for my first action this turn? Uh, Actually, yeah, I think Bizzle might be taken right now. Yeah, Biz now that Bizzle is all alone this round, he should be taking the air cult. He probably yeah, should. Fire. If I were Bizzle, I would take the air cult and the fire cult here. Um, and then build a bridge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is kind of funny because if your first action next round is to use up one of the spades, then Bizzle's not getting his town. Yeah, you know what I realized? I could, um... Or he would have to do, like, a bunch of priest-to-worker conversions. <laughs> I was actually thinking if I, like, hard date you one with a single spade, and he just doesn't get a town ever. <laughs> oh, that that's funny. But... but uh, that's very Bizzle, you know? I don't know if I want to be Bizzle. Actually, hold on. No, Bizzle's going to get the double spade, I think. Oh, Logus takes the uh, single spade to secure you one? Uh, okay. E3. Uh, wait, I'm at... Uh, yeah, I think what's going to happen is Logus is going to single spade E3. Oh, hold on, Actually, hold on. Now, that won't work. If you Sanctuary... Because you're passing before Bizzle. If you Sanctuary and give me two power... No, but you play before you play before me. That's the issue. Oh right, right. Good call. Okay. Um, 
it's fine. We'll figure something out. Yeah. I, I don't think that either you think. I mean... No, I think, I think that's definitely what's happening. I think that the first action is Logos is going to take E3. Um, oh, he gets some workers. Okay, the workers help a lot for Bizzle, but... Yeah, he's going to have six workers next round, so he can't hard dig E1. Um, but he doesn't have power, so maybe you could, like... Oh, if Logos... Okay, you can't actually blow three workers here, right? Actually, um, I will get those double spades. Uh, Logos is going to give me power. Oh, Bizzle's giving you power, too. Oh. oh. Yeah, Bizzle's giving you power here if he upgrades. Um, yeah, so I I am getting double spade, actually, right? We'll see. But where are you double spading? Oh, maybe you double uh, spade E6, E5? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if he takes e3 from you, then you go e6, e5, probably, and then try to make a town through there. But you also want your sanctuary next round, right? Like, uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have the coins to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. If that's the case, then yeah. We assume. I mean, yeah, or else, or else Fizzle's uh, spice egg is, is wasted. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> absolutely true. If it's a double spade, where do you want your second spade to go? Probably E5. Uh, probably, I'm going to switch to Ascending Town. No, sorry, sorry. I'm saying if for some reason E3 doesn't go right now. Oh, that would, that would be insane. Um, then probably E6 then, just to hit E8 faster. Yeah, that works. That makes a lot of sense. Getting E8 is important. And it does look like we should be able to get E8 right now. Yep, okay. So, yep. Okay. maybe... Can we can we float E5 for later? So my thought, right, is can you hit F1? Just annoy Logos by hitting F1 right now? And then you build E5, and then you hit F1, turn that red. That also... E5 is a double dig for me. Or do you mean E6? Instead of E5, you hit F1. So you build E6 like oh. you wanted, and then you just turn F1 to red. And then you have a chance of making a bridge town, a hilarious bridge town through those hexes at the southwest anyway. Like, I mean, turning E5 to brown should be pretty safe. Well, I mean, floating E5 should be pretty safe. Swarmlings don't have any shipping to reach it um hitting f1 i think is also going to annoy engineers and you just don't like the other the thing is like you don't have anywhere useful to to go with your dig right i5 does you nothing it just i5 is a hex but like if you just leave e5 for the moment can that work Oh, you're debating triple digging E1 and killing Bizzle's Town? Me, I think that hurts both of us insanely, but... Uh... Well, the problem is, yeah, the problem is that that doesn't help you get a town, right? Because I think that I think that it's very likely engineers can just build F1 with a ship town after that, and then you don't, you just lose a town. You could, you could turn E1 to a different color, but that doesn't really hurt Bizzle that much. But I don't... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, which town key, uh, which town uh, tile do you want? Like the two key or? No, I don't think I want two key town. I think I already win the Earth Cult anyway. Yeah, I probably just so take you, a ship town. Okay, you definitely beat uh, Bizzle to uh, town, uh, temple, right? So I don't need to slow him down. Yeah, I'm, I'm only two actions away if I, if that's what I want. 
the question is, what should I get from my town? Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take e6 and e5 because I think I need the spades for myself. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking f1 is good because it hurts engineers, but this, that that should be fine too. Oh, slow down their town, you mean? Uh, yeah, and it, it also just is one fewer hex for them, right? They, yeah, like they want a town there. Um, just messing with f1 is just good anyway. You know, like it's, I, I, I just don't know if I'm going for two towns. Just no, no. I mean, this is not for a second town. Like, I, I'm just saying that maybe you can get two spades on e5 later. Oh, I see. Um, it's your call, though. It's entirely your call. If you think e5 is better, just go for e5. Okay. My, my, the only reason is I don't know how much more reach I am getting from you after a century, so I don't want to be too uh, aggressive. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, engineers are giving you leech if they wind up building F1 anyway, so. I hope right. we're not overdoing it on a clock situation. Yeah. All right. Which favor do I want here? Um, it's probably just Earth 1, right? Yeah, I, I would say so. You have. Uh... Yeah, it gives you the coin as well. It was tempting, though. I, I was tempted to block the little town. It's okay. Yeah, I think I think a ship town here is pretty good for me. Because then maybe I can come down and help you on E5. Right? Um, oh, I see. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think no one's going to take my other ship. As long as I get one of the ship towns, I should be okay. Oh, okay. Well, hold on, hold on. That's a good point. I, 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 I think the Tukey Town is better for you for the coins and cult. cult. So where else am I racing on the cults? That's my issue. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. How many more actions have you got? Let's count our actions right now. I just jumping twice. Um, you're, you're jumping twice and that's your round? Or do you think I should throw a priest on uh, air? Because surprisingly, this will take that. Oh, I like that. I think maybe... Because basically, I can adjust my round length to fit you, right? Um, yeah, I... I'm going to throw a priest to air. I think it's a decent number. Of okay, you go priest to air, you go e8. Um, I take a two key town that hurts. Yeah, that's that. the two key town here should hurt swarmlings quite a bit. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Because even if we don't get longest connection, uh, we're definitely getting second because I don't think there's a fighting connection. So I'm getting one, two, three, four power from this. Oh, wait, hold on. Bizzle took the coin, so that means I could send a priest to the fire cult. Do you, wait, do you need the, uh, your two priests to make your town? No, be careful, because if they recognize that, they might block your priest action. Well, the, the real issue is that my tempo would be bad, because Bizzle could just build E1, but I can five power priest as well, if I send the priest off. It is expensive. It's probably wrong. I'm yeah, just going to take I would the, say... Let's just take the town. One, two, three, four. I need to down convert one. Yeah, I, yeah take the town first. All right. So I'm digging A5, right? Taking away your yellow? Is that the plan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. All right. We'll take this. Yeah, I think the Tiki town is good, right? Yeah, you get the spades. Yeah, it's never um, that bad, right? The Tukey Town is never that bad. And and you can use your uh, cult space on the east, I guess? Yep, I'll just do F5, G6. Um, do you really want to ship, though? Like, 
the issue is that I don't have like a great place to be. Like, I would really like to ship. Like, so here's, here, I mean, it's a little late now, but my case for the ship town, right, was that I come down next round to E4, and then I can actually help you make your town. But I suppose that now you're you just you actually have enough leech to double spade next round. I think so. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think Okay, so my round is almost over. Um, I'm going to use my water two bump next. Uh, probably the fire cult. Um, yeah, I'm going to scare the eight in case they cult to hit or something. Do you think that's fine? Yeah, yeah, that, that's entirely fine. That's totally good. And then, yeah, then I have a water two bump and then we're both done, right? Oh, wait, right. did, did Logos just get the two... Logist probably just got the double spade for next round. But you only need a single spade for E5, right? That's right. Oh, oh, Logus also has no shipping right now, so if he passes then he'll uh he'll be double spading some worthless hexes. So Yeah, I I think your round one taking his temple card really really threw a wrench in his plan. <laughs> yeah. I think that was pretty good. Alright, so do we like fire or air for my bump here? Maybe just uh, earth? Maybe just earth. Yeah. I, I fire is good to come just uh, fight for because you can always uh oh you want to hit step ten and... yeah next round I can just hit step ten and then I can yeah I'll figure out the rest of it later sure sure coins is important I agree yeah okay yep okay so Logos if Logos passes then he's you know then he's kind of missing out on a lot of the value that he could be having right now. Um, and if he doesn't pass, then we're going to hit both of the pass tiles and we're going to get temp ship or, and we're going to get both power actions. You're going to get double spade. I'll get the coins, which sounds pretty devastating to them, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah. Like I'm, I'm looking at like, the fact that like in the beginning we were worried about them having like a lot of end game points on us, but looking at the cults right now and connection, I, I don't even think that's true anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we and right now we're winning in terms of direct points. So that's also good. Though I mean, Bizzle's about to like make up like a mountain of those direct points, but I mean, he's getting one town. That's like five points plus a town. So he's gonna be like. Really I mean, he also has water one. He also has um, this oh, pass tile. Like he's he's gonna get that's a lot fair. of points here. That's fair. But I think at best he's catching up to us. I don't. Think yeah, your your pass is also gonna get you like a nice number of points as well. Call me crazy. All right, you can you can definitely call me crazy. No, no, no. Okay. It, it, it has to be that. It has to be that. Like I was I was considering taking the priest with two coins on it because it's a dig round, but I can build three dwellings without that help. So the help of that dig. So I think that that's probably the call. I, yeah, I think denying Bizzle his favorite card. Yeah, yeah. I can't I can't possibly let Bizzle have that. So because yeah. I think Bizzle wants to upgrade him twice for next round and giving him two workers as well. And just... Bizzle's not going to be advancing dig next round. <laughs> look at his look at his worker econ. If you take the worker town, he, he might get like one or two digs back. But where is it? Is it right here? Bizzle should be taking a cult town. Bridges. Okay. I do like this move from Bizzle at least. <laughs> I guess I just passed, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I'd say just take that dwelling tile, and then I'll take the, uh, and then I'll take the big building tile. This control that we have right now is really, really nice. We should figure out quickly, like how we should figure out how long of a round we want next round as well. Um, yeah. I get a double spade as well. Nice. No, yeah, and it's a spade round, which is awesome. Um, Maybe you can get on to... Well, well, we'll figure that out on their time. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom real oh, quick. Okay, yeah, go ahead. All right. As long as Logos doesn't build C2 here, I should be okay.
All right, uh, we, we're back. Welcome back. Bizzle took the worker account. Okay, so he is gonna. Okay, so he is advancing gigs. Okay, I mean, I think I can live with that. I'm, I'm assuming your first action is coins, right? Yeah, my first action is coins. Um, my problem is that I'm probably just not gonna connect this game, but. Yeah, like, connecting looks way too expensive for me at this point. Do you agree, or...? Um... I think you can connect if... Oh, if this was that magic gigs, you might have one. Yeah, my thing is, I have zero shipping right now. Um, and I'm this is the dig round, and I have zero ship, so that's pretty awkward. Um... I at least have a neighbor for my TPs, so obviously you should be able to do that as well. Yeah, I guess you don't have to worry about connecting uh, right away. It's not too easy for them to block your connections completely. Because well, you have... the other funny thing is that Bizzle isn't connected either. <laughs> exactly, right? So, so could I be getting six points of connection anyway? Yeah, so we'll be neutral. Maybe we can be neutral there. They'll probably beat us by like 10 to 20 on the cults. Not by like 30. Um, I, I don't even know if that's true. Like, there's not taking any cult towns. And uh, right now, I think we're doing pretty well on cults. That's true. That's true. We just need to keep trying to pump. Yeah, we just need to keep trying to keep pumping our points. All right, so Bizzle could be going off next round, performing like a grand total of like six digs. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, it's not. I, I'm not too worried about those digs, but maybe I should be. So I'm actually debating uh, triple dig C4. <laughs> C4. What, what, <laughs> what do you think? Oh. Um, can they retaliate? Um, well, That's always my, the my question. No, my question is, are you still getting your town if that happens? Um, well, Bizzle can't hit my D5. The, uh... Engineers should also never want to do that either. They have their own town to worry about. Yeah? Yeah, alternatively, I take F1. That doesn't seem good at all, because then you still still need a bridge to make that town. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Ooh, I I think I like this triple dig actually, because especially if Bizzle doesn't get onto temp ship. If Bizzle gets onto temp ship, then he's gonna be hitting your yellows anyway. Oh, he's gonna advance shipping. So if Bizzle, yeah, if Bizzle like. Advances ship here. Okay, he does advance ship. Let's see. Let's see what that means for us. If you triple dig C four, I, I hope he uses his cult spade on C four. If he does that, I'm triple digging it. He's probably using I, his cult spade on B four. Is my guess. B four. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. But he can't hit your other hexes. Um. Oh, I have another spade. <laughs> Funny. Okay. I'll go on G6. Where did you use your call space now? F5. I just did that without thinking. But I also have another one. I guess that one just goes on H7. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, I think I think round five when I get my town, hopefully, I will get the sailing and give neighbor there. Yeah. Okay. I. If you don't take E5 this round, I just don't see how you're getting the... Uh, the coin, or yeah, how you're getting the coin slash workers to uh to ship town that round? Maybe I'm crazy, but if I don't take five, yeah. Whoa. 
<laughs> Ooh, that was cool. Uh, I guess he's trying to help. Uh, yeah, he's definitely trying to help Lotus there. Um, another f possibly interesting question is: Do you need do you need a ship town this game? I think the answer to that is probably yes. I don't know that you can afford to build a stronghold, but that might be a question worth considering. I don't know the answer to it. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking that I should do the triple dig block right now. That's what I'm thinking too. So I think if you triple dig, then you're probably not getting a town. Um, do you think uh, Logos will take you five from me? No, no, but I, I don't think that you're going to be able to afford the town, is what I'm saying. Like, even if they don't disrupt E5 at all, like, how are you getting your town if you spend all your power and four workers right now on this dig? I see what you're saying. That's kind of why I just, yeah, but, uh, but this is your call here. I... I like this a lot because Bizzle is basically, like, his town is slowed down so much. If you don't disrupt this, then he is going to get a town this round and he's going to be able to dig even more. If you blow up C4, then... Yeah. I, I say it's a 2v2. Um, he left his throat open, you step on it. I guess the other option is taking d6 there. Because, yeah, because uh, they don't even have Earth 1 for. Uh, yeah, NGs have Earth 1, they don't have Earth 2. So if you if you just flew onto d6, that would have been pretty funny as well. But then Bizzle probably just lets NGs get through the north by digging through those hexes. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Um, sorry, I'm talking a lot when I should just be taking oh, no. the goddamn coins. No worries. Um... So the nice thing about this is if there's a wants a mega town on the west, uh, he takes some of uh, the hexes from Lotus. Well, so. more likely he probably bridges to B1 and tries to town up there, but that's right. entirely fine by me as well. Like, that's like kind of a waste of time in my opinion, so. The nice thing about my triple dig is I get access to B4. I mean, you're not getting B4, yeah. That was never going to happen. Yeah, I mean, like, my thing was that he wa he was basically just like, I, I think that this hurt him more than it hurt you. Because he's not getting a town this round, and this round is the round where he really wanted a town. So I think I have one turn left, and that's a jump. Um, I7? So, I guess either way they're getting the card. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the jump. Okay. It would be nice if you can out, uh, like, slow play uh, so that this will be the card, but I don't know how viable that is. And is blocking him as important as just getting onto your tile? That's also true. Let's see. You only have one action left. I'm just going to take a long round. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Yeah, um, yeah I don't think we should worry about the pass card. I, I hear yeah. It. Okay. I'm going to take F5, and then I'm going to double dig E9 so that engineers can't get those grays. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to take F5. Okay. Yeah, you still have a bunch of points to get this round. We're doing pretty well. We have the pass cards as well. So. Yeah, I have about 10, 10 more points are coming when I build E9, and then I'm going to close out the Earth Cult for some stuff, and that might get me a Priest action, which I can use for even more points. I'm assuming I just pass on to the T card, right? The trading house scoring? 
Yeah, I don't really see much reason to pass on anything else. I mean, maybe the... Maybe the shit town... Like I, think the, I think I'm gonna just take coins first action next round or something. Okay. Or actually, I need the spade, right? Or I think that you need this... Yeah, so actually the ship... T- <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, right? But... No, I think it's very likely you're not towning next round, but can you town in the... F- or, what about... Okay, what about this? <laughs> next round, you you hard dig E5. You take coins, you hard dig E5. You build okay. two TPs, right? Okay. And then you build a stronghold in the final round. Uh, so, if I build a stronghold in the final round, I'm, I'm getting a town, right? So. Yeah, and I... then you take, like, a worker's town or whatever town you need to, like... Get those flights out. Okay. Okay. Uh, my, my concern right now is if I don't give you neighbors on the uh, east next round, it's hard for you to build uh, hanging houses, right? So. No, because... Oh. Um, right, because I don't have anywhere else to do it. Um, I, so I really want a town. But yeah. uh, I guess that's the, the cost of blocking those. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, a triple dig makes life kind of hard for that, so it's okay. We we live with our choices. Okay, I don't want to think too much. I'm going to pass yeah. anyway. And, yeah, uh, that's cool. And just take the, the points, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I might be able to town if, uh, if Logos gives me some power. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Like... You might be getting double spade, which would be pretty neat. Um, you know what time we started this, uh, this match? It was probably time? around 3.40, so it's been around... Okay. It, yeah, it's, it's only been like 90 minutes. Okay, I, I like how you're blocking. Okay. Well, he can, he can put his uh, special landscape on D4. D7. But if he tries to do that, that's hilarious, because then I just, you know, D... <laughs> yeah, right? Like, that's that's actually hilarious if he does that. He's not doing that. He would just be giving me a neighbor. All right, so what I think I do here is I think I buy a, I, I, sorry, I bump on Earth, then I buy a priest. Oh, wait, no. I bump on Earth, and I just pass, right? Because the dwelling tile is still good? I think both are viable. Because um, I don't think the dwelling tile is really helpful, right? So. No, but it helps engineers. So if engineers pass, then they get two tiles next round. If I pass, that's actually way better, right? Yeah, there's a watcher card. You definitely want your card. No, but what does Logos want? That's the question. I feel like he wants the dwelling uh, card, right? No, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, should I just pass now? I should probably just pass now, is what I'm saying. Well, they don't need to be expensive. Oh, yeah, because I'll build B2B3, but then I can build some other stuff. Um, I think you should take the cult step. Okay, we take the cult step. We'll take it on Earth. That gives us better power to, like... Because then if, if... If Logos does then pass, then I probably just buy the Priest. Yeah. Or, yeah. no, I even I can even pass on a temp ship. There's, there's lots of good stuff out there, so... We're staying the round. And there is a tiny chance you might even sit on the round longer than Fizzle. Oh, Logos stayed in the round. This is so great. Okay, so now I pass happily. 
right? Like, um, yeah, it's so many points for you. I I don't see why not. Yeah, this is really good right now. <laughs> I think we're making reasonably fast decisions, like for a 2v2. Um, this game has only been an hour and a half so far. And, oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, and like a lot of these games have been pushing three hours. Like, my decisions here are going to be pretty quick. I'm going to be just, you know, I'm going to give Leech to engineers. I don't, I know what they say about giving Leech to engineers. I don't, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> It's a very it's a very friendly game. This color wheel has been yeah. we haven't seen this color wheel too many times. We've seen a lot of like brown or I don't know, like blue and yellow being on a team and then black and gray being on a team, but this is a this is a different yeah. look. It's nice, it's 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 uh it's fresh. Feels a lot more like four player actually. Just it does. just more blocky, obviously, but although you would never see Oh, I don't. I don't know about that. I think that. I think that Zvok has done it. Zvok has done G1 engineers. I, I mean, I guess Zvok is like cheating. It's like cheating to say Zvok did anything, but like, he has done it, and he made it work. Um, he built. He. I think he did it in a game with witches. So he just like started G1, took temp ship, and then wow. built a town through the west. Built tall. Built like seven structure or nine structure engineers or something. <laughs> No, I mean that's that's the thing that right, like you just you just don't connect. You just play tall. But I think that that was in a game with like nomads or something. So nomads gave them neighbors in the west, um, whereas you probably don't get those neighbors in a. Uh, Oh man, Logos also burned himself down to five power. <laughs> this is... I'm telling you, you're a round one temp boat uh, steel. <laughs> yeah, I think that <laughs> I think that we tilted them because this does not look like good play to me. I I don't think that it was the right move for Swarmlings to advance digs in round three and then try still try this strategy in round four. I guess it paid off a little bit because they got d6, but Swarmlings could have just hard dug c4 instead of doing this dig advance. Stuff last round. Oh, oh, so he's a curious town, right? Yeah, exactly. And then like we can't interfere. Then maybe he advances digs in round four, and it's a little less like diggy, but like way more just solid. Boo, Logos! You took my priest. That was my that was my secret pass tile for round uh, <laughs> for the final round. Well, oh, Bizzle's <laughs> Bizzle can't have a very long round, can he? Oh, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. He can, he can, because he can get a town, and then he'll have three workers to do stuff with. Okay, yeah, he'll be fine. I'm just wondering, can I get onto his tile for the final round? I think the I answer mean, to that is... I could triple dig a 10 and block it on him. No, no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing if you did that, actually. That would that would arguably turn this game to the greatest game of all time. You thought my blocking was over? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I think that he has too many outs to that. Because he can just dig A8, B5. And yeah, he's yeah, really yeah, happy. Yeah, because, yeah, your digs are so much more expensive than his now. But Yeah, and I do need my B5 for my town. I think I have enough for a town, right? Um, with these resources? Probably. Uh, with expensive TP? Oh, good point. Good point. Uh, I just want to give you a neighbor, but I don't know how. I don't. I wouldn't worry too much about giving me a neighbor. I can just take d7 and then, like, if you give me neighbors next round, am I really so unhappy? I, I'm on the dwelling tile anyway.
That's fair. Like this is gonna be a seven dwelling town in the in the east. And I think that I can live with that, you know? I think I'll feel good about my life if I have a seven dwelling town in the east. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Do I take the double spade even? Do I need the double spade right now? Not taking the double spade is actually amusing because if you block the single spade, then Logos can't get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Logos can't use the double spade anymore. He has to rely on Bizzle to do his digging. So take the double spade if you think that you actually have use for it. And don't take it if you don't think you have use for I it. I think I might need the two extra coins, is what I'm thinking right now. Okay, why don't you... I... Okay, okay. I, I was going to suggest... Wait, hold on, hold on. Can you use your priest as two extra coins by heat digging A10 to green? Does that help at all? A10 to green. Just to waste one worker from Bizzle? Yeah, that, that's probably... That's, that I, might not be worth it, but it might be worth it. Like, he's <laughs> struggling so hard on workers. I think I need the coins myself. Okay, okay. So, I think... Yeah, I, I was just saying that because do. flying gives you two coins. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I, I do like taking the single shovel uh, so that Logos can't take it. That's kind of okay, good. okay, sounds good, sounds good. Yeah. Unless I go with my double speed or hexes myself. It's so... Mm. No, I don't, I don't think you need hexes. Hexes is the last thing that you need. You need range a lot more than you need hexes. You're right, you're right, you're right. In, in fact, arguably, you could take coins now, hard dig, and build two TPs. It depends on how many TPs you're building this round, but... Uh, I'm just going to secure this one. Okay, sounds good. All right. Um, you, obviously, you can't afford Water 1. I think that I can still afford it, though, so I, that's probably oh, yeah, what I'm going for. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? So, you know what? Yeah. We should have thought this through a little more. I think that the right move for you there might have been to, to Temple for Water 1 or for fire two, and then make a TP on F3. You could have taken coins. And then last round, you sanctuary for fire two. I, I just feel that's too many coins. I, I don't want to build a sanctuary. OK, OK. Sounds good. I'll just take water one, then. Yeah, Yeah, I do wish I had shipping so I could come down and give you a neighbor on E4. But I think that our I think that our idea for the stronghold in the final round is fine. Maybe I'm crazy, but uh, or if I could expensive tea. Actually, I don't know how to make them. Oh, what if Shit. I think that I think that that single dig was a huge mistake. Yeah, because because you're getting two spades off the air cult that are doing absolutely nothing right now. Yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, no, I'm debating if should I throw a priest on air right now. No, I don't think that you should. Because if Logos sends priest to air, Bizzle would need to send the other priest to air, and then I just use my water two bumps on air, and I think that you're okay. I mean, I, I think that you're. I think that it's fine to put priest air. Priest air might be better. Just go for it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It is better. I just don't like doing undos usually, but I think that it's it's pretty understandable to do that here. Okay. I, well, I'd be able to use it, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, the question is, should I put Priest to Air? I think I should water two... No, I think I should put Priest to Air, because that takes away a spade from Logos. 
It locks up the air cult for us, one and two. And it gives me the power to take the coins. Logos, if you upgraded there, Logos was getting the coins, but now I'm getting the coins, which is hilarious. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, okay. Logos now needs to upgrade next to, no, he can't give, he can't possibly give enough leech. Yeah, okay, so I've gotten the coins. I think this might be my third coins action this game. Yeah, because you yeah. engineers have yet to take the coins. So Bizzle's taking coins twice, and I've taken coins three times now. You are right, though. I may not be able to use my cult speeds, but... Uh, Hold on. Hold on. You can take the coins. Oh, good. okay. Uh, yes. Uh, All right. We did it. Pack it up. Let's go well, home. We got coins. Well, I, get, I get a town, you're saying, right? Yeah. You take yeah. coins, you get a town, and then you fly to G4, right? You're right. I like it. I like it. Logos gets air one. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. And if you have priests left over for round six, you can turn some of the hex into yellow for me. I think D8 is a good one, specifically because um, that's a hex that lets you access B6. But you are very short on priests, actually. That, that, that's true. Uh, but Logos's round shouldn't be that long. Um, you're not going to get onto the Swarmlings pass tile or my pass tile. Maybe you pass onto Logos's priest. Yeah. That's, that's probably... Actually, uh, maybe I'm wrong about Logos having a short round because he has a lot to do. Like, he doesn't look like he has a lot of resources, but he's engineers and he has water one with TP in a TP round. This is going to be a long round for Logos. Man, I'm going to get so much power from Logos. I, I, got, I think I got more power from the other team than from you this game. Oh, man. Like, just look at, <laughs> look at how little we've touched each other this game. <laughs> They're actually on my team. Okay, so they're air one blocking us. That actually is a pretty good idea from them. Well played. Uh, I mean, I don't think I was going to go for air one. <laughs> so I get the coins, I guess? Yeah, yeah, I take the coins. yeah you take the coins. you got to take these coins. Yeah. Oh my god, you took my coins. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on your team. I'm, yeah, ha, take that. Yeah, top ten anime betrayals. All right. Our water one. Yeah. Engineers get their bridge. Yep. Yeah, engineers have a very long round coming. They have four TPs to build. Probably a dwelling or something after that. Bizzle might give them another dwelling to build. Um, I probably am buying the priest this round, then. Um, I want to have a longer round so that I can stall until you come over to G4. Just make sure you don't need the power for coins or something. Like, um, oh, I, I think I'm fine there. Because I, I don't think either of them are interested in taking the priest action, so you can always hold off on that. But up to you. Well, I mean, so if I take the priest and I have 14 coins, I have 15 because I can bump myself on air, and then I have 16 because you're going to come to G4. So four TPs is 12 coins, and then two dwellings is is four. Uh, sorry, four TPs is 12, two dwellings is four, so that's 16 total. So I have 16, even if I buy the priest. Oh, okay. Yeah. I cut the map. Yeah. I, I mean, when I, when I look at a stack of resources this big, I usually just say, it's probably good enough. It's also exactly enough workers, which is neat. Okay. It's going to be funny if they're just like actually crushing us, 
even though we're just like so arrogantly laughing right now. Because <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I'm very arrogantly laughing right now, but uh. Yeah, um, but you need four actions to get over to me, um, so I'm gonna slow play it a little bit if I can. Oh, I I definitely have four. Actually, yeah, I think I have four. Sure. All right, so this priest is good. We're just gonna take that priest. <laughs> yeah, you were never gonna have the power to buy a priest this round, so. Bizzle mm -hmm. is not going to town before you, so you can't steal your ship town. Do you want this leech? I think you still want two for ones, right? I, I think so. It's, yeah. it's kind of rare to deny it. Yeah, maybe you don't want the maybe you don't want the big leech on E3, but Oh, yeah. I, I, agree. I agree. Bizzle is taking two for ones as well, which reeks of desperation to me. That that to me seems to indicate that he wants to stay in the round really long to deny me the past tile. But little does he know that I don't care. All right, Logus, take some leech. <laughs> he, he might take this leech. I mean, engineers can just use so much leech. Yeah, he is going to take it so he can afford Stronghold and Sanctuary next round. Um, I feel like this game has to be like the most power giving to the other teams on both sides. Oh, no question. Oh, hey, Logus, take this leech too. Oh, wait. Okay, so I've got five dwellings on the board, um, so I'm probably going to be passing for those five points as well. Will you be building more uh, probably, right? Yeah, once you fly to G4, I'm going to build two TPs. Though actually, now that I think about it, I don't have a place to build a final TP cheap, which is okay. I think that's okay. I'll just have one more dwelling on the board, and then that'll make my stronghold less awkward as well. Mm -hmm. Because I'm definitely building a stronghold, I think. Like, I'm basically out of ways yeah. to make points, so... As long as you secure third place connection, I think... Uh, That's a fair point. Bizzle right now... I mean, after making that temple, he really doesn't look very threatening on connection. That was air one. Air, air one. Yeah. Do you buy a priest next round? Because you have. Uh, who me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I could. Um... Okay, it's not that important. We can think about it later, but. Yeah. Uh, it looks like that two for one, that last two for one might have been wrong because now you're not going to be able to take all the power that you get. Oh, shoot. Right. Um, unless, no, actually, you will be giving me power when you build uh, your tape. So I think it's okay. Um. Sorry, I, uh, I'm responding to a message right now. Um, okay, so I wanted to... build E10. Oh, Patrick's watching this game. This Wait a guy. second. Who, who plays after you? Okay, Logos can't afford to hate dig, right? Logos can never afford to hate dig. I'm thinking, what if I dig D7 to yellow? I like D7 because that gives me the best possible neighbors. Um, well, are you planning to... Oh, are you trying to slow down uh, Logos? No, no, I, I I want you to fly to me so I can get the neighbor for the... I can... Because I can take D8, oh. and then I'll have all the neighbors for TPs. Oh, you want me to fly to D7 right now? Yeah. You know what? That's, uh... No, because then I can build I want... three TPs, right? Instead of... Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you think you can get the TPs out... Yeah, I can, I can do it. Oh wait, I'm one. I'm one short, but it's okay. This is fine. And uh, I, I do like it because it helps helps me reach up to six as well. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Instead of D8, it's, yeah. Logos is never spending three workers on this. That would be an absurd. And if he does, I'll just buy the game where it's not being covered. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that that's exactly going to, like, rock our world if he... Yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit of a shame that you don't have more um, priests, yeah. but I, I yeah I think I will be taking the priest action if I can, and hopefully use a five power priest as well if I get the power from you. Yeah. How bad is it if your first action is to five power priest or to Should priest? Should I take this power? No, no. Oh wait, wait. Um. Taking this power means getting yourself another priest. Because what I can do is, once you fly, I will build E10. Then you can down convert a five power priest when you pass. I'm sold. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I like it. taking leech is never that wrong. Learn from Zivok. Because <laughs> right now, yeah, you've you've got yeah you got five dwellings on your board right now. So the more dwellings that we can get out, the better. I mean, I think I'm pretty much guaranteed second place connection, which is really nice, um, the way it's played out. Yeah, given how few structures you've had to build. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting part of uh, season two. Like, you're guaranteed second place connection. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, I think that's one dangerous part about Swarmlings. Like, they actually can um, be a little less, like... Having Swarmlings means that your opponents can play smaller. Hmm. Unless they were going for the uh, Triple Town Swarmlings. Well, I mean, even so, like, Triple Town Swarmlings don't connect usually, so you can just build, like, 10 structures and still have enough to get 6 points on network. Um, yeah. And, like, in, like, a 4-player game, that's, like, your 3 opponents might be still fighting each other, but... In a two-player game, two of your opponents can just settle for, like, 18 points of network between the two of them very easily. It's all kind of theoretical, but still. Sorry, I, I don't have to Yeah, sorry, it's not important. I was just musing about, uh... Yeah, I was just musing. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm coming to D7, right? Yeah, sounds good. Enjoy Logos. <laughs> yeah, Logos loves it. He can't deny it. Just look at him. He's so happy right now. All right. And yeah, now you can down convert a priest when you pass. I like it. I, yeah. This I, might be the only time I've ever seen this happen, but I think it's correct. Oh, absolutely. The jump is four points. Buy resources for four points. Yeah. The Swarmlings and... Engineers together should only be able to afford um, one. What am I saying? They should be able to, like, Swirlings shouldn't be able to get a cult spade here. So only engineers can get a cult spade, and they can't even double dig. So they're not going to be able to hate on your yellow hexes too hard here. Um, and also, I can create more yellows if need be. Like, I can turn I11 to yellow. That's like a good jump hex for you, maybe. All right, how many structures are Swarmlings going to get? They have one more here, and then maybe they can build like three or four more next round, but that's it. So they might have eight or nine structures. I can, I, I think I can match that in the east. Do you think you can beat that? I think I can match, at least match eight or nine in the east. I'm going to build two more this round, or one more this round. Oh, should it be two okay. more? I'm guessing case... you're going to be last to pass this round, right? At this point, it looks like that might be the case. Yeah, I thought that I thought that Swarmlings were going to outlast me, but I might wind up on their pass tile, which would be insane. That would be absolutely insane if that happened. Okay, so I guess I'm passing and just taking the seven points. Uh, 
Do you want seven coins or do you want a priest? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. The past tile. Yeah, yeah. I would. I think. The, I think that the seven coins is probably pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Like at the worst, that's like a resource point. Yeah. Sorry. I thought that you meant to take the coins action. I was like, I think that you actually want the. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh no no sorry. No yeah. I think you actually want the priest action. Right, that's the thing, right? Like, you, there's no world where you actually need these coins unless you're, like, building a stronghold or, like, sanctuarying for air one or fire three or something. Um, but the world could exist where you want... Um, I guess I'm taking the priest first action, right? So... I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Just... Which one do you think? Hmm. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a little tricky, a little trickier than I thought. Yeah, a little bit because my dwellings are essentially doesn't cost me coins. Yeah. Like, there's no world where you actually need those coins, basically. Like, there's just yeah. zero world where you actually need those coins. Where Maybe there is a world where. You could, like, there is a world where you somehow get enough leech that you buy the priest, and then you might build, like, a TP in a final flight, but that just seems very expensive anyway, so. You know what, mate? I'll take the coins. I think uh, there's a chance I might get power, uh, the worker power action, if I need them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I definitely take the coins because uh, you're giving me power right now. So I can't take the worker power. Or uh, it's not efficient. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you three power anyway. Um, this priest by Logos is actually pretty annoying and pretty powerful. Right. Uh, you have. You still have a cult bump and another one next round. So I'm assuming you use it on air. I'm definitely using this one on air because I want that coin, I think. Um, I also am getting a town. I should think about what town I want. It's probably... The 8-pointer doesn't seem very good. I think a priest town is better than an 8-pointer. Yeah, because if I fill up the fire cult, then that's an issue for them. The one good thing about the 8-pointer is that it lets me build a TP now. Uh, like one more extra TP now. Oh, because of the, the power you're getting? Yeah. Like, I, I basically computed that I could build one dwelling and two TPs, but that was assuming that I got a two for one on G4. I only got a free leech, so if I get the extra power on the uh, fire cult, then that helps. But I guess I could also just put a priest to fire, and that does the same thing. Um, okay. Um... Hold on. Bizzle has one action left so he's done okay so the two of them are getting two pass tiles um right okay the question is um, how many tiles am i getting yeah you still have a couple of actions still, right okay yeah uh okay i think i want bizzle's tiles so the question is should i make a tp here or should i make a dwelling i think the answer is i just want a dwelling and then I probably just pass for Bizzle's tile. I'm not gonna wind up getting my water my air one bump or water I, water two bump, but that's fine. I think you should build the TP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because it's a TP round. And I'm gonna get two workers off of that. So Exactly. Your coin is, is more uh, Yeah. Coins are cheaper. After. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 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 I have the pass right now.
Oh, I didn't even realize uh, this all helped uh, Logos get me fixed. I mean, yeah. I don't even think I have enough prints to hit all my jumps. But... Oh, I see, I see. Um, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll give you one in the south. Um, you're going to get H1. I, I, so you, you are going to get H1. Um, actually, maybe you should just secure B1 with your first action. Yeah, that's right? what I was going to say. Yeah. Hold on. Is it possible that staying in the round is correct? I can get three more points and two more coins. No, that, that can't possibly be better than this, right? And I get an extra step. So... Nah, I can't possibly be better. Because I, I want these workers. I really want these workers. I already made four TPs this round. That's plenty. Um, oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I, I made... Because B2 was, uh, was a dwelling before this round. Uh, Locus did not connect yet. Locus is connected. Is oh, oh, in the south? I see. So if you turn I6 to... Well, I6 is already green, <laughs> right? No, 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 but he, uh, he needs a gray to connect, right? Oh, oh, right, right, right. He's great. Uh, I could try to block. That would be kind of fun. Right? Um, yeah. You can just turn I6 to black. That's probably... Well, he has, he has three different hexes to connect on, but I6 is one of the cheaper ones, so... And then what if I single spade I5, and then now what does he do? Well, he has H4. He has H4. He also has E4. So, like, you can't yeah, really stop yeah. Lotus from connecting, but... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, maybe I should just... Not. So where should I use my cult base? I8, I guess? Or... I mean, I still like... Hitting I6, don't get me wrong. I still like I6. Um, it just... Because because Bizzle can't help on those, and Logos also doesn't have the ability to double dig anymore. So if we narrow him down to just I5, and then you, like... And then you single spade I5, it becomes very awkward for him to connect. And then, like... I don't okay. know. I don't know. I think I6 is just fine. But then I will lose B1 to Bizzle. Oh, he has a cult. No, he doesn't have a cult speed. Oh, no, I mean, he might just hard dig in the way, right? You have the first action? I think that you can just fly with your first action, and then you can buy a priest later. And then I give I-5 to Logus? I can't, I can't secure both on in one turn, right? So I either take I-5 to Logus, or I uh, take B-1. No, no, you're, you're not taking I-5. Yeah, I think, I think B-1's more important. Oh, so... I think that the first I'm, action should be fly to B1. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking using it on D8 and I6. One on each. Okay. okay. And now I'm turning the green to blue, I guess. That doesn't really help. Um, yeah. Just help me down a little bit. Okay. Um... There's no way Bizzle is connecting through the south right now. <laughs> no, no, there isn't. Oh yeah, because uh, the north. He, west. Yeah, like the the west is completely cut off. There's no shipping route through it, so because engineers cut him off. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's aside from the fact that his worker econ is what it is. I'll secure, I'll secure that one. Um, do I need to convert my power, or should I just do this whole thing? Um, I don't think that you need to convert your power. I agree. Also, this lets you, quote, threaten the double dig. Yeah. Logos is going to build I5 with his first action, which he 
you should. Otherwise, I actually think that you should double spade it. Or, okay, double spading it might might be, no, I, I don't think that's actually correct. I think that letting him connect is fine. Yeah, Lotus does not have that many resources left that. I mean, he, he has like nothing on his board either. I guess he has both big buildings that he wants to use. That's the that's the tough part. Um, wait, okay, okay, hold on. Are you beating Logos on network if he doesn't connect? Oh, 100%, 100%. He has to connect. Okay, so if we take away I5, right, then what's going to happen is Logos is going to spend four power and three workers and four workers to secure E4, right? Because then he doesn't have to yeah. pay for shipping, yeah, and then he has one so worker funny. and two and two priests left. That's it. <laughs> that's what? it. <laughs> oh, but Bizzle can still dig hexes for him. So True. no, so he'll uh, win on network. So he'll still win on network, but he won't have any of his big buildings. So he'll just be done. And I think we still get second and third place connection, right? So network. Yeah, I think that basically, I think that Bizzle. I mean, Logos gets a lot if he builds both his big buildings. That's 10 points on the track, plus 3 points from the bridge, and then probably like th like a 4-point swing on cults or something. But, okay, but how much do you get if you, you just build out your stuff? Like, 3 dwellings for each, like... Oh, wait, that is one right. of your flights. So you're, you're right. losing out on one flight, which is 6 points, right? I have... I'm going to take the priests, and I have... No, but I, I'm saying if you dig I five, what happens? Well, actually, let, let's worry about that. Let's worry about that on their time. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because right now it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's not worry too much about their. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's their like they're they're gonna have a chance to respond anyway. So. Yeah, um, I, I think Bizzle can help him connect either way, so I wouldn't worry too much. No, Bizzle can't help him connect. That's that's why we're discussing this because Bizzle doesn't have the shipping to help him connect. But oh, I have a town coming in. Well, this is, he has a town at the. Um, this is probably just the eleven pointer, right? Or is it the eight pointer? I, I'm tempted to say. Do you need coins, or do you, probably not, right? I don't need coins. Uh, yeah, this is the eleven pointer, I think. Actually, no, no, I, I'm just worried you don't you don't get enough to secure a third place. Um, I I kind of like the eight pointers. Okay, yeah, eight pointer swings against engineers anyway in two different spots, so that's pretty good. And you get three power. Um, yep. Okay, so that's one and a half coins. I'll get a few more coins from you as well. This is fine. Yeah. Bizzle will get an 11 pointer, that's fine. Oh, Logos got a worker's action. Okay. Now I now I think that the double dig is really, really strong. Right? Oh, I don't the only reason I don't like it is because I that kills one of my own jumps as well. No, but you lose six points. Logos loses a lot more than six points. Yeah, think about it this way. Logos just took himself out of the spade race. He has seven workers. He needs all seven of those workers to connect. If you double spade so, him here, he's dead. I'm thinking Bizzle can upgrade sailing and dig G3 and H4 for, for Logos. How is he, how's he digging H4? I see what you're saying. Um, so let's let's do a really quick count of Bizzle's stuff. Bizzle will need a worker count, right? So he builds a he builds a eleven, then he upgrades a eleven. So that's right. minus two workers plus three plus two, right? So he'll be at five workers. Um, minus three for the, no, the dwelling is minus two. Right. The dwelling is minus two. The town is plus two, and then. Plus it's 
Yeah, so then he'll be at five workers. Then he digs and builds G3. He's at two workers. And then he digs H4 to gray. Um, that causes Bizzle to waste. He needs to get a worker town instead of the 11 pointer. Okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. Um, we don't. We don't need to mess this. We don't need to try this hard to mess with them. At, at worst, it's very close. Like, uh, if I'm wrong, I, I think it's maybe like a couple points. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. What's up? He, he dug A12 to blue for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. He needed to build A11. Oh, he's doing it to gray. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine. So, I just build out another dwelling. Oh, they want another town for Logos, I guess? Yeah. It looks like that's what's going to happen. That's an expensive two-bridge town, right? Unless he's going Sanctuary. I mean, he's going for a stronghold anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's... Oh, I see. Yeah. Like, that, like, you know, blowing up I-5 would have, like, prevented these shenanigans, basically. But we've given them, like, a lot of flexibility to make other interesting stuff happen. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, whatever. Um, I'm just going to build my hexes. I like Earth One. Yeah, I don't know. This... Not... Not hitting I five might have might have cost us the game, but I think I gave him the extra town. Yeah, I'll take this leech. It can't be that bad. Um, I'm gonna give you leech here. Okay, so what type of town is he? Oh, he's going for two towns, a stronghold and a TP. And then he wants I-5. I'm trying to figure out if you can get the single dig to fly and dig I-5 still. Because you don't need to build a dwelling. You can just single dig I-5, and that'll actually really hurt Logos as well. You have to agree with that. Okay. All right, so we're doing, we're doing this so I can use up my priests. That gives you one leech, and then you're getting another leech when I upgrade E9 to a stronghold. Sure. Okay, so they're going to win the fire cult. That's fine. Um, so... Yeah. And I'll give you free leech on G6 right now. Um, all right, let's let's cap. Let's really quickly cap their end game points versus us on the cults at least. I think the cults are basically settled. Um, yeah. So they have. Um, we beat them entirely on air. They beat us entirely on fire. Um, we tie on earth. So they're ahead of us probably by like six points on cults. Six, like, you know, like so, somewhere in the 10 point range on cults, I think they have us. Six to 10 points. And then they're passing for a lot more points. We're even on network. It's pretty close. 
I think it's pretty close. Okay, so I'm giving you leech now. Oops, I have to make a stronghold to do this because I foolishly used up all my power. Um, or I used up all my priests, rather. I think that's the plan. Yeah, this probably, like, Bizzle will probably still come down and do his whatever, but it, like, this doesn't seem particularly bad for us either way. Like, at worst, it costs us, like, two resource points, right? This has no network implications on you, so. And then you can still build D8 if you really want. Bizzle probably should block you just to, but it's like one resource point. It's not important. Also, I will dig it back. If that's even better than just, see, okay, he left it. Um, I can't advance ships. Okay, so Bizzle is coming to G3. He's going to help Logos connect. That's fine. Um, I don't think Logos can afford this priest to fire. He needs two workers to build a bridge. Then a stronghold is three, and then a TP is four. Then he needs one more thing for the dwelling. So if he takes a ship town, then he, his worker, then his priest is just a worker. Because he, he'll need three ship now, right? Like he's always going to need three ship. The stronghold and the TP and the dwelling together are nine coins. Um, so he needs a ship town. So that priest is going to be a worker. So this will at least catch up with Logos. However, catching up with Logos, Bizzle is going to... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's let's count really quick. Bizzle advanced ship. He needs five workers to get down to G3. Or he needs four workers to get down to G3. That's not, that's not the ready on three ships. No, no, yeah, yeah. So Bizzle needs three workers to get onto G3, right? And then he needs two workers to dig H4 or I6 to... Oh wait, he can he can dig I five, so he has a priest to spare. So he can, he can, yeah, he's gonna have... Wait a second, no, I have I have my air step, I have my water two step, so this is good. Yeah, I forgot that a water two step that that changes the math. Yeah, it's been around two and a half hours now, I think. Um, okay, I'm just going to build my dwelling here. Yep, sounds good. I don't know if you want to leech. No way. Um, if I give you a free leech, then you get another resource point, so I'm going to build G6 with my landscape. This is close, because you don't have that many points. You have eight hmm. points here. Um, I mean, neither does Bizzle. Bizzle oh, you're right, you're right. Bizzle doesn't have that many. I guess he has a lot of pounded points, too. Yeah, Bizzle... <laughs> that's true. You have... My, my coins. Yeah, you have, you, you're dominating him in terms of uh, resource points. He only has three resource points. You have nine, or you have six, so... Yeah, it's a close game. As long as you beat Bizzle on connection, that's I think that's the key. 
No, I mean, I, I have beaten him on connection. Oh, what did he do? Oh, no, he, he, he dug the hex we thought he would. Okay, cool. Still on fire. Yeah, it's going to fire. So this is a 24 point cult point Darklings game. I think it's 24 points on the cults for Darklings here. No, his last priest is for is for I5. He needs a ship town here. Yeah, he can't take a coin town um, or a worker's town. He needs a ship town. Like, if Bizzle could have dug I6 instead, then that would have been good. But that's where your cult spade comes in huge. Oh, you mean my last uh, air, air cult spade? Yeah, yeah. The air cult spade on I6 was actually really important for this. Yeah, because he did take a ship town. So his last action is building I5. Wow, G2 wound up being really, really important. I'm glad that we, that I, I think it was your decision to prioritize that. Um, oh. I, yeah, I, I took it just because I thought I, I getting that I7 was nice. Yeah. I thought it was nice in other Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's enough. You're, you're sitting at 140. Uh, yeah, 142 with a resource point. I mean, Logos is passing for everything. He's passing for six plus. Wait. Hold on. You tied Logos in network. I'm sorry? You tied Logos in network. Do I actually? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I think we have enough. Yeah, yeah, we have this. Wait, how did he go up one? He, um... So he actually had a water two bump that we had forgotten about. Yeah, I, I, I forgot there was water two. Yeah, his no, his cult game was so poor that we forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, Logos is up nine points on me in network, but I haven't beat in terms of the cults. And you're up nine points on Bizzle in network, so I think that we just, we should just have this, but Hopefully. it's not by a huge margin. Yeah. I'm watching the countdown slowly. Um, I'm not jumping forward because, you know, we, we, we made it this far. I can just wait to see what happens here. I think that, I think that they did outscore us. However, the 30 point lead at the beginning of the game was just too much. Like that was just like, they. I think that that was too much for them to overcome. I think, I think, because right now they have a lot of points right now. Man, did Logos pass for like a million points? I guess he did pass for a million points. That feels good. Okay, okay, so you're ahead of Bizzle, I'm ahead of Logos, okay. Ah, yeah, nicely done. Yeah, like, well, so they had the best cult, they had the best network faction and the best cult faction, but we had the two scoring factions. So like, yeah. with 30 and points of a lead and like all the points from our like flights and whatever, like, yeah. Oh wait, we went we went over by a minute. Oh, we did. Yeah, it looks like we're over by one minute. We're at ninety-one. I think we're right at ninety-one. Yeah, or ninety-one in two seconds, so maybe two points. That's we're still ahead, but yeah, we actually uh, they they were much faster than I realized. So, oh well. I'm sorry. I said they were much faster than we realized, but uh, but we're okay. I think that we yeah, still win overall. Oh, it's... I, I really think uh, taking the tempo round was perfect. 
Oh, the temp shift, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was the winning move, I think. Yeah. It was creative, but it like you can only do that if you're in a later seat, right? <laughs> like you can't just you can't just expect to get temp ship like in that like in the first seat when I'm darklings like who have good use of it. So I know, I think you were in second seat. I think they kind of used the first seat, right? Yeah, sorry, sorry. I mean basically I was picking my pass tile in front of him, so Yeah, oh yeah. Um but yeah, C four, I five and the temp ship like we made some massive blocks. They blocked us on E3, but it didn't I guess it was good for them because they got a town from there as well. That, that is true. Yeah. If we had if we had managed to get that double dig build on I5, that could have been huge. But I think that this was pretty good anyway. Like we wound up getting basically everything that we wanted. You even tied Logos on network, which is well yeah, more than we expected. Like yeah. Really yeah. Oh, cool. Um, should we, uh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, good luck with, uh, you know, Patrick in the future rounds, I guess. I don't know if this is the loser's bracket or if it's the winner's bracket, but, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Would so. you like to replace Patrick? Well, I mean, the reason why I didn't sign up for this is because I'm very, uh, it's not, yeah. Like, I, I can't commit to these because I'm, like, you know, this holiday season, I'm traveling a lot, but. But no, thank you so much for, for stepping in. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I'm just going to sign off here, and then I'll uh, take a look at the uh, stream, if there's any stream chat or anything. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for the game. Um, I'll yeah. talk to you later. Um, yeah, so I believe I'm still live over here on Twitch. Um, oh, Patrick of the Isles, you are uh, you are here. Um, and it looks like there was a decent amount of uh, stream chat. I will read through it, but um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, obviously, I was a little bit slower on this game. Um, like, we it, apparently we were talking a lot on Den's turn. So, um, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for chatting. Um, I will read through the chat later. Um, it's fun to get this type of 2v2 game up. Um, tomorrow I'm relatively free, so if I can find a Terra Mystic game, I will be trying that as well. I also noticed that I got a follow from Nomad underscore FET. Um, I appreciate that. Um, this has been a long stream, so I think I'm just gonna, unless anyone's here, I think I'm just gonna cut it here. Um, thanks everyone. Um, talk to you soon.